Hello everyone, welcome to IntelliPath and we are back again with another interesting video on a versus topic. Today's session is going to be all about OLAP versus OLTP which is online analytical processing versus online transaction processing. So guys before we proceed further do subscribe to IntelliPath's YouTube channel so that you never miss out on our any upcoming videos. So let's have a look at the agenda for this video. First and foremost we'll brief you with the introduction to OLAP and OLTP in order to understand the concept more effectively. Then We'll go through the real-time examples based on each one of them and then gradually we'll discuss about the comparison between these two based on few parameters such as uh, motive to use, types of query, forms of query, types of users, normalization, storage, backup and recovery and design. And then we'll also get to know about the advantages and disadvantages of using OLTP and OLAP. Right. And then finally we'll wrap up the video with some conclusions based on them. We'll also have a short quiz at the end of this video in order to recap what all you have covered. Make sure you put down your answers in the comment section below to know if you're correct. Also guys, if you're looking for the courses in the trending technologies, then do visit IntelliPath.com. So without any further delays, let's get started. So guys, let us start off by understanding both of these technologies in a brief. First and foremost, what exactly is OLAP? Acronym for OLAP is Online Analytical Processing and consists of a type of software tools that are used for data analysis in order to make business decisions. It is majorly used for an offline storage of data and this data can be accessed offline also, right? And database information stored in this is used by the business analysts like manager, executive for analysis and reporting purposes, right? By using OLAP, you can extract database information for multiple databases and analyze it for decision making at one time. And it is being majorly used for data analysis, right? Moving forward to what exactly is OLTP? Acronym for OLTP is Online Transaction Processing and is a system that manages transaction oriented applications on the internet in a three tier architecture. And it is being used by the end users such as database administrators, database professionals, and OLTP manages day-to-day -day transactions of an organization. And reason behind this is using data processing, right? Now let us move forward and discuss the examples of OLAP and OLTP. First and foremost, example of OLAP. Let us understand how OLAP applications are used in different verticals of an organization. First, OLAP is used in finance departments for applications such as budgeting, financial performance analysis, activity-based costing, allocation I would say, and financial modeling, right? In sales department, OLAP applications are used for sales analysis and forecasting. And in marketing departments, OLAP is used for marketing research analysis, sales forecasting, customer analysis, promotions analysis, and market or customer segmentations, right? And guys, all of the above applications of OLAP provides the information with the managers or decision makers that they need to make effective decisions about an organization's strategic directions. And also guys, in Netflix, movies are recommended to users based on their previously watched history, right? It also gives you the percentage of matching between the recommended movie and previously watched movie, right? Similarly, in e-commerce companies like Mintra, users get recommendations for their apparel, accessories, and other stuff based on their previous purchase, right? So as we move forward, examples of OLTP are as follows. So in online banking, customers use online services for checking account balance and for directing the fund balances, right? And in order to purchase a book online, it helps you to add a book to the shopping cart, right? And also, call center staff uses OLTP in order to view and update customers' details. And the next example I can give you is that in order to book an airline ticket and for sending a text message, again, OLTP is being used here, right? Another use case is that in ATM center, it is being used for money withdrawals, transfers, deposits, and inquiries, right? Also, other use cases are like to make order entries in hotel, retail, and medical industry. So guys, in OLTP systems, the interactions between the user and the systems are comparatively very short. Users can perform complete transaction through short interactions and immediate response time is required in order to make any transaction in this. In ATM machine transactions, OLTP is used for money withdrawals, transfers, deposits, and inquiries, right? In supermarkets such as Big Bazaar, people do payment with debit or credit cards. Executive uses OLTP to keep track of how many customers visited for the day, right? So now these were the example for OLTP as well as for OLAP. Now let us move forward and discuss about the parameters based on which we will make differences between OLAP and OLTP databases. So first and foremost thing parameter is the motive to use, right? So OLAP systems provide consolidated view of historical data of an enterprise for reporting, planning, and decision making. Whereas 
OLTP systems are used to manage day-to-day -day fundamental operations. Right. Next is the types of query. In OLAP, large and complex queries are used for making the decisions. Right. In this aggregation of tables across multiple database is frequently required. But in OLTP, system simple and standard queries are used, which returns only a few records. Right. Next is forms of query. In OLAP, transactions are not required to be recorded. Hence, select command is used for fetching the data for analysis purposes. Whereas OLTP uses insert, delete and update statements for the same. Right. Next is types of user. So OLAP users are mostly knowledgeable workers, business analysts, C-suite and managers for running complex queries for making the analysis. Right. Whereas OLTP is mostly used by the employees on the front line that is end users like clerks and cashiers in order to record and review the transactions. Now let's move forward to our next parameters, which are normalization, right? So in OLAP data is denormalized to improve query performance when aggregation must be performed. But in case of OLTP data is stored in third normal form that is 3NL in order to facilitate simple queries. Next part that is storage. So OLAP requires significantly large space as it is used to store huge amount of historical data. And OLAP contains data from multiple sources and requires storage of aggregate structures and numerous indexes in order to optimize query performance. But relatively smaller space is required in case of OLTP as it is based on current data only. Right, now moving forward to backup and recovery. So in OLAP, backups are rarely needed because it is built to persist data. But in OLTP, data is backed up regularly without fail because it stores all functional data for the business only. Now, as we discuss about design part, so in OLAP design changes according to the reporting subjects like sales, inventory, marketing, and so on. So basically the design here changes according to the reporting subject only, right? And snowflake model is being used here to design this, right? But in case of OLTP design changes as per the industry requirements and ER model is used for designing here. For example, airline, medical, retail, etc uses specifically designed OLTP databases accordingly. So guys, as we discussed about the parameters for both OLAP and OLTP, now let's move forward and discuss the advantages and disadvantages in OLAP and OLTP. First and foremost, advantages of using OLAP. OLAP creates a single platform for all types of business analytical needs, which includes planning, budgeting, forecasting, and analysis. And the major benefit of using OLAP is the consistency of information and calculations. And the additional advantages, OLAP systems apply security restrictions on users and objects in order to comply with regulations and protect sensitive data. Right. Now let us move forward and discuss about the disadvantages of using OLAP. So it has high IT dependency. So IT professionals will be responsible for implementation and maintenance of OLAP systems only. Right. Although business analysts or decision makers are the intended users for OLAP, but they will still have to work with the IT professionals because the traditional OLAP tools requires a complex modeling procedure and its users have to write a huge number of complex codes or scripts or SQL queries. Right. Now, the next point to note here is the slow response. So it says that slow in reacting to the business analysis demand. So guys, how does it work that as traditional OLAP tools require pre-modeling and cooperation between people from various departments for reporting and analysis to make the reports more effective. So it is usually slow in reacting to the business analysis demands, right? Last point that we have here for disadvantages is abstract model. So as the traditional OLAP tools convert the data of two dimensional from database and Excel to the multi-dimensional, right? So for using the OLAP freely, business analysts or decision makers must have the knowledge of rotating, slicing, drilling, and other concepts before using it. Hence, you can say that the abstraction of model hinders the business personnel from analyzing freely, right? Now let us move forward and discuss about the advantages of using OLTP. First and foremost thing is that OLTP is used for managing day-to-day -day transactions of an organization, right? And the queries used in this are simpler and short, so it requires less time in processing and also requires less space compared to OLAP. By simplifying individual processes, OLTP widens the customer base of an organization. It also allows indexed access of data. A large number of users can use OLTP at one time and frequent queries and updates can be done here. It has fast response time compared to OLAP, right? So as we move forward, let us discuss about 
the disadvantages of using OLTP. So first and foremost thing is that if hardware failure occurs in OLTP systems, then online transactions get severely affected. OLTP system allows multiple users to change and access the same data at the same time which many times created unprecedented situation. Due to the costly system designs and maintenance, in OLTP systems, multiple users can access and modify the system data at the same time. You can't restrict one user to change data while another person is already modifying the data. There must be an effective way to ensure that people are not working at cross purposes, right? while retaining a system that is responsive for everyone. So OLTP concurrency is the solution which is available in the form of OLTP software packages and that will require costly system design and maintenance. Also in online banking, the online transaction systems impose processing costs on the buyers and sellers as well. So guys, as we discussed about the advantages and disadvantages, now let us move forward and discuss the integration part that is integration of OLAP and OLTP. So companies like Snappy Data is developing the in-memory hybrid transactional analytics database that brings together OLTP, OLAP and Apache Spark or MongoDB, Apache Cassandra in order to ease the pain of users, right? The purpose behind doing this is to bring the transactional and analytical environments together. So companies like Snappy Data is developing the in-memory hybrid transactional analytics database that brings together OLTP, OLAP and Apache Spark or MongoDB and Apache Cassandra in order to ease the pain of the users, right? The purpose behind doing this is to bring the transactional and analytical environments together, right? By using the integrated form of it, one can run the queries really fast and can also provide estimation of error accurately. Here, the integrated platform includes approximate query processing that is AQP and AQP uses machine learning techniques in order to understand the kinds of queries a user might ask the systems to create data samples and that can be helpful to improve query performance, right? And guys, another benefit of using the integrated form is it minimizes the operation cost. So guys, now let's move forward. Which one of them according to you is better? So guys, if I keep my perspective here, OLAP is historical multi-dimensional data retrieval system that is used to retrieve the data for analysis, which can be helpful in decision making, right? Whereas OLTP is an online data modification system. So OLAP system creates a single platform for all types of business analysis needs such as planning, budgeting, analysis, and forecasting. OLTP systems are used for day-to-day -day transaction. OLAP is characterized by a large volume of data, whereas OLTP is characterized by the large number of short online transactions. Choosing one over another totally depends upon the user's requirement as both work for different purposes, right? All right, guys, so now let me wrap up this session by asking you a question. So which one of them does the data warehouse support? So the options are OLTP, OLAP, OLAP and OLTP, operational databases, or none of these. You can let us know the answer in the comment section below. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any further queries, do let us know in the comment section below. We will reach out to you immediately. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video and giving us your precious time. See you again.